Yeah, talking of girls with power tools, when we got to our dressing room this morning, we found this message from Michelle. Now listen, before we tell you what's inside, would you look at the detail here? Pink envelope, beautiful handwritten script there, diamante <laughs> clustered detail. Like, that girl, do you know what? I'm missing her. That girl is a classy lady. She is. Now inside my lovely envelope, it says, Dear Colin and Justin, that's us, just in case you were wondering, please, which is which though? I, I get a bit confused myself. Just cut to okay, the chase. Okay. There's Dear wine Colin, to be had. Dear Colin and Justin, please make yourselves at home. Well, we have done so far. Yes. Leave everything as you find and remember to put the loose seat down. Michelle, do you think I'm going to walk into the loo and leave uh -huh. the loose seat up on my first day in the job? I don't and think so. And the final note from our lovely Michelle here is, and be gentle, please, Justin and Colin, with our lovely Tom Canavan. <laughs> oh, <laughs> don't you is. worry, Michelle. <laughs> we'll be gentle with He's them. He's in safe hands. <laughs> Listen here, she's the girl for me. Oh, come on, listen, what's wrong with us, Tom? Do you know what, how to make, how to, how to make two no. boys feel very welcome. Oh, no, listen, you're more than is, welcome. Is that a confession? <laughs> well, we go, have we got that on camera? <laughs> are, you, are you dating Michelle? Is there a secret tryst about which we should know? Should I be buying a big glossy hat for a wedding? We'll discuss this later. Okay. <gasps> Nice, you heard it here first in there. Tom, what are we drinking today? Listen, we're going to do rosé. Ten years ago, rosé was the naffest thing around. Okay. You know, no one drank rosé. But in the last few years, it's really taken off. People love it. They love it. Maybe it's the global warming. It's the amount we're travelling. Sure. I don't know. But we've discovered rosé. The shelves are full of them. And I've picked out a couple of really nice rosés mm -hmm. and a kind of special red. All right. All be a bit different, and I think you like them. Okay, all. just a quick question for me before we move on. I'm a big red wine fan. Yeah. I drink really busty, full flavoured, heavy red wines. I really like a crisp white wine in the summer as well. Rose has never been my territory. Yeah. What would you recommend to somebody like me who's a bit of a rose virgin? Well, listen, I mean, the thing is. It's a bit of a trick, but the darker the colour of the rosé, the more like a red wine it is. Okay. Right. So the lighter ones, think of them as being almost like white wines right. in style, and you can drink them with the fish and the seafood. Mm -hmm. The darker ones tend to be a bit richer, a bit okay. more fruit, and you can match these with things like, you know, even with things like a chilli con carne okay. or something sure. like that. Okay. So that's a good tip is to go for the colour. Well, you know taste. what, the proof of the pudding and all that, Tom. Okay, <laughs> wine number one in your glass on your right, right. is the Le Cruz. It's an old finds Sanso rosé. Okay. At the moment, it's 5.19 in the Co so goodbye. Goodbye, really £5.19, yeah, sure. just over a fiver. Have a little sniff and a okay. sip of that. And it's got those really light, kind of slightly red currenty. A wee bit like rose hips, oh, that blimey. very delicate flavour. It's nice. When you say we sip, I'm going to go for the full Well, solo. have as much as you... Mm. Well, you've got that. That's, <laughs> that's quite sweet, that mm. one. That's Isn't it? There's a nice. hint of sweetness there. A bit German almost. There is, yeah. I mean, Colin's picked up a hint of sweetness, but it finishes dry, you know, and that makes it quite food friendly. So great for picnics. Okay. Screw cap bottle okay. as well makes it easy. Sure. But really nice with things like a prawn cocktail. Okay. You know, so it's got that lovely bit okay. of sweetness. And we should serve that chilled. Definitely serve them chilled. All roses are served. Okay. Chill, really nice I want to ask chill. a quick question as well before we move to the next one. You mentioned screw top. Yeah. Should we as consumers be scared of a wine that's got a screw top, always thinking it's an inferior product, or has all that changed now? Definitely changed. You know, Britain's actually led the way in okay. that. You know, we now love the screw cap. Other countries are a bit more sniffy about taking right. their wines in it, but it's a fantastic thing. It's a great closure. Okay, fantastic. Now, wine number Second two. One, now, you'll notice the colour's just a wee bit deeper, I think, in this okay. one. Mm -hmm. This one comes from Argentina, a lot more heat. Yeah. Okay, so we've got a Malbec rosé this time. It's the finest Malbec rosé. Tesco, 6 99 nice. And you should get a lot more fruit, even a hint of spice from this one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And if you have a little sip... Okay. Oh, that's... Much, much more me already. I really like this one it's again. It's more in the red wine style, yeah, isn't it, it is, Justin? Isn't it? I mean, really it's, nice. it's deeper, it's spicier, okay. it's got the really what berry you fruits. Do you know what? It, it is, actually. Could you mm. have that with red meat? Listen, I think you definitely could. Okay. You could have it with some... I would even match it with something like a, quite a light curry, a kind of korma curry. It would really right. work. Wow. Chili con carne, all sorts Should of I things. I think champagne with curry. And I think I it goes really well. well. Yeah, well, listen. The next wine, it's not quite champagne, but it is fizzy. It's something a wee bit different. Okay. This one is... 9.99 in Waitrose. It's called the Siena Rosso from Australia. Mm -hmm. Okay. On offer at 7.49 at the moment, so a bit of a deal at the moment too. What would that normally be? It's 9.99 normally. Okay, let's okay. Well, it's on pop your cork. It's going back. <laughs> <laughs> it's going back up to 9.99 at the end of the summer. Right, so get so in there quick. Stop. Whoa, -ho. Now, the grape is called Siena, oh, and you'll wow. see that 
It's, it's an it's absolutely a fizzy. amazing colour, isn't it? You know, the most vibrant colour. Oh, okay. But a lovely wine. Take a glass and pass one down. Oh, Go on then, you know. Subside. Time and to you'll find. Now, is there a way of pouring this so there? you don't get that giant head on it? Well, you could tilt the glass a wee bit. I if feel like heads. I'm in a Rover's Return with a pint of scrumpy here. It's, it's a bit fizzy, isn't it? But cheers, right, boys. Yeah. Listen, this Let's is a lovely wine. You'll get the sweetness from it. Yeah. Oh. You'll get the deep fruit. Oh. Yeah, summer in the garden, okay. seven and a half percent alcohol. Oh, oh, this is quite low. So a couple of glasses of this is equivalent to a glass of a regular okay. wine. Okay. So in the garden at summertime, a couple okay. of glasses of this, it's the Brilliant. perfect stuff. Some fantastic wine Some choices there, Tom. What would you say, Colm, is your favourite from all of these ones? Um, you know what, I like to drink, I like my, my, my champagnes, you mm -hmm. know, to, so to actually to have a dark red that's fizzy, there's a lot of fruit in that, I really enjoyed that. Isn't it great fun? Uh, it's a good one. I'm definitely going to go for the Argentinian because Argentinian I like the fuller flavour and being much, much more of a red fellow. How about yourself, Tom? What's your favourite? Oh, well, listen, I think they're all really interesting wines. I'm kind of with you that I like that, but that would also be fantastic with some dark chocolate, okay. some really good quality chocolate Ooh, yeah. could make a great dessert wine. Ooh. So, Ooh. Do you know what, I know, why, I know what Michelle sees in you now. Clearly, <laughs> 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 there's a romantic. <laughs> blossoming there. It's absolutely brilliant. It's absolutely... <laughs> let's raise a glass to absent friends. Oh, Michelle. Michelle. Indeed. Cheers. Cheers. Indeed, 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 gorgeous stuff. <laughs> mm.